name's Ian Nuttall. I, um, well, it's my pleasure to bring the stadium industry together every year. Um, and right now we're in a little bit cold and chilly Manchester, but it's very warm inside. So come in with me and meet some of the team. Come on. So, and we're getting people to pick a wristband to say they're comfortable being close to each other. Come in, come in close. Come close. So, these are all the hundreds of people around the world who own and operate and run stadiums. We're going to have a party for two days and learn how to bounce our business back post pandemic. V I E M P N S, a model speaks. Welcome to the conference and marketplace. Thank you all for coming in person today, banding up, taking a risk. That's the reality. We take a risk in being together now, don't we? We take a risk in traveling. We take a risk in putting audiences together. No reward without risk, I would say. So thank you for making the journey and, and joining us in person. I don't know if anyone else saw this. I witnessed the most personal of experiences on arrival on Sunday in Manchester, out there. It had snowed. A little group of people came up and they're saying goodbye to a loved one, scattering their ashes out on the field. You can see it today, the snow's melted, they're there. Emirates Old Trafford has a reverend who conducts these services and there's someone who has this connection with the venue through life. They have chosen to be placed on the outfield at Emirates Old Trafford. That is the connections we have with the fans, the customers we have. Just that's one individual story. Uh, next up, we have funeral products. And we're just gonna start this presentation with a video and we'll then be joined by uh, Peter Beemans, who's the founder and owner of funeral products. So uh, here we go. Fans, I think, are the building blocks of any sustainable business model. If we can create inside the stadium or outside the stadium a scattering field or inside a beautiful remembrance space where players, volunteers, employees and of course the fans have a respectful space when they can have beautiful memories in a very positive environment, this will automatically create more people going into the stadium to remember those loved ones because the children will come with you. They will come into the stadium, say goodbye to Uncle Jack and be fan for life. This will be a method to increase the emotional value, the intrinsic value of your club when you start with a concept like this. You need to operate, I think, a little bit more for the heart for our fans and your fans. Thank you very much. There has to be a greater sense of purpose about what we do. Not just filling the stadium, but doing good with it on match days and on non-match days. You guys know this. <laughs>